Today, let's talk about the difference between ESBL and AMPC resistance. ESBL is an end-stage beta lactamase. It's actually a protein that is found within bacteria that can allow them to be resistant to third-generation cephalosporins. So if you see a bacteria be resistant to a drug like ceftriaxone, chances are it could have an ESBL enzyme that allows it to be resistant. On the other hand, AMPC is a gene. It's a gene, and so some bacteria, if they have the AMPC gene, they can actually turn the gene on and allow themselves to become resistant to ceftriaxone. So they may not even be stated to be resistant to begin with, but it may say that this bacterium has an AMPC gene. And if it has that gene, you should know that these bacteria have the ability to turn that gene on and become resistant. So if at any point you see that bacterium has AMPC, it's better to not use a drug like ceftriaxone because the, the bacterium can essentially endogenously become resistant to it. So instead, you should use another drug. So here's kind of how I break it down in my head. Here's this lovely diagram that I have from the Stanford Antimicrobial Stewardship website, which I will link in the description below. But basically, if you're worried about AMPC, do not use ceftriaxone. On the other hand, if you're worried about ESBL, but it shows your culture results and it shows that the pathogen is sensitive to ceftriaxone, you can probably still get away with using ceftriaxone. But if your pathogen says that it's AMPC, and even if it says it's susceptible to ceftriaxone, I still wouldn't use ceftriaxone because it can turn that gene on. So I hope this helps. Definitely check out the website and I'll see you all in the next short. Thanks for watching. Peace.